feared. I, I think Jimmy was probably more feared. I think Jimmy was more vicious. I, I think Tommy was crazier and did like stupid things, but Jimmy was vicious. Jimmy was more dangerous, if you know what I mean. Yeah, and they killed women, you know, they killed couples. They, you know, they killed couples. I mean, you know, it was vicious, vicious things, you know. Vicious, they were, they were, they were cold-blooded murderers, but Tommy was more crazy. You know what I'm trying to say? Tommy was more like, Jimmy was more serious. Let's put it that way. He was more dangerous because he was more serious. He was like my father, Jimmy, serious. My father was dangerous, but he was serious. Like, like when Tommy killed Spider, like, you know, that's crazy. You know what I mean? That's crazy. Like, you know, uh, so th that's the difference, you know, like, he was the boss. He was a serious motherfucker, Paul Varro. He ran that crew. I mean, he he had all killers with him. He, Anthony, Stabile, Tommy, Jimmy, Pete the Killer. These guys were all Danny Cateo. These guys were all, you know, murderers. He had a, he had a very vicious crew, a big, you know, they made a lot of money. He was a serious captain and... Lucchese, he was very, very good friends with my father. Him and his brother, Babe. His brother, Babe, was another wise guy with the Lucchese's, you know. Uh, he, my brother, his brother, Babe, and my father and Tony Lee, my father's partner, were best friends. They were together almost every day. They hung out together. Um, they went out with their wives together. You know, his kids, Babe's various kids were in my house. We used to go horseback riding together. You know, my father would take me on, on Sundays when I was a little kid. Once in a while, I would go to Paulie's house in Canarsie and, you know, he would be sitting in his living room. I met, you know, and my father and him, because they always had a, they were partners in big, big poker games, uh, crap games. I mean, before the casinos, they had big major crap games together, my father and Paulie. Um, he was a very dangerous guy. He had no problem having people killed. Paulie Vario, he didn't have an issue with it. He was a captain for, he was a captain my whole life. I mean, he, he was a captain from when I was a kid. He had a, he, until he died, he was a captain. Yeah, I mean, he was a captain my whole life. So, I mean, he, he, he was a captain for years. I'm surprised he never, ever got another position like on the boss or in that family. I guess he was just happy to be where he was. I mean, he was making millions. I mean, he, he had Kennedy Airport. He had the Teamsters at Kennedy Airport. Frank DeWop was with him. He ran Kennedy Airport for them. You know, he was a powerful captain in the Lucchese family. He had a lot, a lot of power. Yeah, and he made a lot of money. He made a lot of money. Oh, my God. Probably Kennedy Airport, I would imagine. I would imagine. I mean, they, he, you couldn't do anything in Kennedy Airport without his, they're, they're okay. I mean, you know, they they ran the show. I mean, the, the Frank DeWop ran the show. That was his guy. You know, he even got Tony, you know, they, when they bugged Frank's house, they bugged his kitchen, you know, Tony Lee got indicted on a case with him. Tony Lee, Carl Amato, my co-defendant Carl, he got indicted with Frank. They all got in. When Tony Lee died of cancer, he was uh, on he was on a case with them from the airport with the with the Teamsters and the unions. Um, it was a big case when they had uh, they had Frank's uh, house wired, and he was having meetings in his kitchen. Oh, they had him down pat where they used to spit and drink and everything. You know, when, when they were filming, before they started filming the movie, De Niro actually reached out to Jimmy to, to go meet him, go visit him in prison, and Jimmy wouldn't see him. Jimmy refused to see him. The only thing Jimmy did, in, which they did in the movie, was the Jimmy Burke's family, because I know this because I was good friends with his kids, with his, uh, with his son Jesse and his daughter Kathy. Um, when they reached out to the Bert, Jimmy Burke's family to speak to Jimmy, and Jimmy said no, the only thing they were told was, or they were asked, but pretty much they were asked, but they were told was not to talk about or or um, put in the movie anything about Jimmy's son Frankie who got murdered. Frankie Burke who got murdered by Tito the barber who later got killed in his barber shop. Uh, and sleeping in his barber chair, so uh, they asked not to have anything. I'm surprised nobody ever talks about that. I haven't even spoke about it now that I think of it. But I'm surprised nobody talks about that, that, uh, you know, Frankie Burke, Jimmy's son, got murdered in City Line in Brooklyn in front of an after hour club. And um, they were asked not to talk about that in the movie, and they didn't.